And please welcome to the stage the incredible, the amazing, the oh my god, phenomenal LaBelle. And she has a lot of amazing shit out there. You gotta hear all the stuff that this girl does right now. Thank you! Hi everybody! I am so happy to be here tonight. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Angela. Andy, Rosie, thank you for the space. Um, I guess I'm gonna start with this one. There's a trigger warning, there's some cursing, um, and it's a little bit spicy. Oh my God. This one is called, this one is called, I don't know, I, I have issues with these microphones sometimes. This one is called Egon. Maybe your eyes were bewitched by mine. Perhaps it was the instant attraction or the fact that your eyes widened when we first met that September. Our conversation seems incessant. I couldn't believe you when you said it was a mistake. Ran like a landline from 1998. A ripple effect on water. Our pebbles became too heavy to hold its weight, trying to float in what we thought for one another trying to float in a season I've always remembered. I miss you sometimes. Not your fickleness, nor your selfish ways or lack of words accumulating on the ground. Those fallen foliage leaves making a pile on such earthly grounds, broadcasting my pain for everyone to admire. I miss the way you used to say goodbye to summer. Autumn rained and it wasn't the lack of closure but the cardboard egg. Skipping around in a boiling pot of water, bubbles consumed with condensation. Finally the egg shell cracked. 365 days. 365 days for your lips to touch mine underneath a New York City tree. But not even my creativity, nor what bloomed between my thighs, not the palpitations of a running heart kept you here, your so-called specialty. You said it was a mistake. Mistakes can be erased with an eraser, mistakes can be forgotten, mistakes can flourish within mud, mistakes cannot be unlived undone because mistakes are tangible things that could, could be fixed. You and I were imperfect beings with, within time, in i.e. love unfree, unfree. Within the chrysalis of an almost blooming butterfly, I understand it wasn't enough to pick me up from the fantasy of color we lived in, erased from a lined paper, Lined paper, lined fucking paper. Wow. Not the memory, not the mistake, the reminder of you, the structure, unwavering neat penmanship, lined pages consistently in imperfect widths, the space between us. I haven't used lined pages in years. Lined pages remind me of you. <laughs> Haven't thought of you in a while, yet you remain my favorite fantasy turned into sandcastles. Vanished within seconds when water crept in, I stare into the sky. I see your face on the trees and benches along New York City. Our favorite playground, you were my cherry popper of many. The first runaway with the pieces of my heart, unsettling, unlabeled feelings, too much, too bold to say out loud, even within the premises of your closet, in the creaks of the floor, the sound of your footsteps, the lickiness of your bones, in between 
the arches of your eyebrows, birthmarks of your lips and eyes, I'm left with a canvas. Have finished letters unread of my love to you, silly child. Left them in a box, maybe someday someone will read about us. What could have been if I decided to chase one more time and maybe you wouldn't run away again? One day they'll make up stories, but it wouldn't be our story, but it'll be just pieces of what could have been. Small pieces I'm no longer interested in, but I'm no longer interested. I wanted the cake, but the pieces suffice. Surfacing through the waves, leaving temporary imprints on the sand, washed away with time, but time has an interesting way of reminding me, reminding me of your eyes. Thank you. Yeah! We needed a second after that, because that was just so fucking fucking good. We needed a second. It was a longer piece. Um, thank you. Um, let me see. Maybe I can do this. Yes. Uh, this one is not. I did not prepare for this one. Well, this one's a little very spicy. That's okay. Go spicy. Go spicy. If you want to go spicy, we're here for it. This one's called To Do List. Ooh, To Do List. Yeah, I want to do this. Hola, mi corazón. It's been a few weeks since I've seen you. I'm jealous of your bed sheets. Getting to hold you at night, caressing your skin, a lullaby. I resent your pillow. It can hear your thoughts, all of your thoughts. I want to wake up cold, seeing you, seeing your beautiful thick dick throbbing in between my third eye. Despiertame. Wake me up from this reverie. I sleep walk my boobs. Full six every time she sees you. Like how can she keep up her panties dry around you? Tell her something. Talk to her like you lick it. Till she comes, till you pull out. Are those just thoughts making these eyes roll? I pray to God about us, but mostly because I like to be on my knees saying my prayers upon your dick. Blessed, blessed beloved. Bless me with a mouthful, my pudding drips while your hands are around my neck. Pero así me gusta. Can you let me gag first, though? My cheeks are flush, your handprints on them. Bending it over, Over your new tabletop, a memorized decoration of our juices drawn like Picasso. Stretch me. Vibrations of your thoughts keep me moaning in languages I don't even speak. Can't you see? I don't know how to walk straight after you pin me. Thank you. Instagram at I am Lobo. It's proper like I am Lobo.